Good man, welcome back to another video. It is your boy Mouse, and we got some door panels to build. The wind is actually real windy today, but we're gonna be making fiberglass molds of the door panels. We got our fiberglass mat that we will be using, of course. Uh, we got some paint brushes, the gloves, because we don't want to get the resin on us. We got our fiberglass resin right here, mixing cups, a stirring stick. We got our measuring cup right here as well, too. We got some extra pieces of fiberglass mat that we will be, we will be using as well. Uh, hit that like button, drop some comments along the way if you have some questions. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you like car audio builds, especially custom stuff like fiberglass door panels. That is what we do here at this YouTube channel. This is your first time watching a custom fiberglass mold, making a mold um, video. Let me go ahead and walk you through the process real quick. So we have our door panel that we need to make a mold on. We are putting three tens. Uh, one big horn and two smaller horns on the door panel and we really want to get a perfect fit so We have speaker rings so we can you know fabricate our door panel But before we even put rings on we have to make a mold of the door panel So we have to go ahead and tape up the door because we don't want to get the fiberglass mat or the resin uh, On the parts of door that we don't want and we really want to just get our shape that we're looking for So we're basically what we do is you know we tape up our door we cut strips up of our fiberglass map. We get fiberglass resin. Uh, we mix it up. Uh, then, you know, we go ahead and we brush it. Uh, brush some fiberglass resin on the door panel first. Get it nice and wet. Then we lay the fiberglass mat on top of it. Then, you know, we uh, go ahead and spread the resin all over it. You know, uh, tap it down to get the shape of it. You know, you have to do, I like to do at least two good layers of it so it's nice and thick. Um, so it doesn't, you know, have flexibility or stuff like that. Um, and we don't want it to break as well too After that, you know, we go ahead uh, We resin all up make sure that it's you know evenly everywhere. We go ahead and let it dry uh, We pick the, the, the mold up Before it actually gets real solid. You see what I'm saying because you don't want it to be uh, Real hard to take off the door panel. Uh, we go ahead and we give it a wash with acetone uh, then we actually just let the, the mold sit on there and let it cure and get the true shape of the door panel. I lost you and all that stuff that I just said. Man, just stick around. Watch the full video. Um, you'll see with your eyes, you know, what I'm actually doing. Uh, and then, you know, if you want to really get some more information, man, just go back on the previous videos uh, that I did fiberglass door panels. You will see them in the history of my uploads. Um, there's plenty of other videos of fiberglass door panels where I really do explain a lot of the process. Um, but we're, we've already done so many door panels. Uh, a lot of the viewers had already seen the steps that we've done. But if you're a new viewer, man, today's video is going to be pretty good. You'll see it, you know, in live in action. But if you really want to get more into detail, man, just click back and watch some of the older videos, man. They're good. You'll like them. Uh, subscribe to the channel, man. Hit that like. Let's get to work. All right, let's get some gloves because we don't want to get our hands dirty and we don't want to mess our camera up. So we're going to go through a lot of gloves today, guys. This is our measuring cup right here. Um, this is to know how much hardener to put in our cup of resin whenever we fill it up. I just want to get it ready real quick. It is a sunny day, but there is a cool breeze uh, going on right here. It is still kind of chilly right now in Florida. And I don't know if you can see, it says 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Um, so it is kind of hot, but it is still a little bit chilly, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and probably put between the 5 and the 10 just so I can play with it so I don't have to feel rushed uh, to lay it on there so I know that, you know, if it's mixed nice and good, um, it's going to cure to 1000% and that's what you want. You don't want to, you know, um, rush fiberglass work. You want to let it sit, cure correctly. Uh, because you know stuff does happen when you go fast and you don't really take your time when fiberglass uh, And the last thing you want to do is have to redo work You see what I'm saying because then you're wasting materials uh, and you're killing yourself on time This is the MKP man. This is what what react makes the fiberglass resin react and get hard um, This has actually got a little bit of a booster uh, and two different types of MEK mixed together to make one really awesome mix You know, this is secret stuff right here. It is very windy today. So let's go ahead and pour some MEK. So like I said, we're gonna do the half between the five and the 10. Right there, that's perfect. See what I'm saying? Actually, if we could just dump just a hair. Look, that's perfect right there. Good mix. That measure, measurement right there is for one plastic cup of fiberglass resin. 
but I don't fill it up all the way to the top. I may stop at the three quarter line. I mean, obviously there's no lines, but I'll know there's three quarters of a cup. It's probably like right here. And with that mix of the MEK uh, pee on there, you mix it up really good. That's gonna be perfect. I like that. We're, look at that. You see the color of that resin? Man, that that is high-end resin. You know, this is top tier resin. With our MEKP mix or measured out, we're just gonna go ahead and dump it. As you mix it, it'll get darker. Like you see, it just it, it, it just got dark. That's what you want right there. That's when you know you're getting in there. Mix it really good. And after I get done mixing, I actually like to let it sit for like a minute or two. Let it all mix together. And man, that, that you're gonna have a real nice cup of resin. Um, more than likely, we'll probably have to do a cup and a half per door. Um, you can actually lay it on pretty thick all you want, but that's pretty much what you need is a cup and a half per door to make a mold. Make sure you mix that thing good because you don't want, you know, nothing, you know, not to react. You see what I'm saying? Even take that extra second and mix it. Dig to the bottom if you have to. All right, so now that our fiberglass resin is mixed up, Let's go ahead and just wet up the, the door panel so the fiberglass mat can uh, stick to it. When you get towards the edges of the door panel where it's going to stop, uh, just go, don't go too crazy on it so you don't get resin where you're not supposed to. I've been doing this for a bit. I'm going to just go ahead and do two solid pieces. So it's just one big solid uh, door panel mold and then We'll come back into the little spots and um, add smaller pieces to get that extra perfection that we need. Got to get it wet, let it soak through all the wind. And the wind is definitely not in our favor today, guys. A few moments later. All right, guys. So I actually had some technical difficulties with recording. Man, there's just so much wind; it was knocking over uh, my tripod. But so this is this is the results after using the one cup on the two layers of fiberglass resin. You see, pretty much everything is laid down pretty good flat. Now we still have to go fill her up halfway. Uh, do like the edges. Make sure that they're all really good and then put a strip along here another strip there so the edges are pretty dead on and just tap out any uh areas that need extra resin and then do another good layer of fiberglass resin on top of it and then the mold uh this stage for the fiberglass mold it is done then we have to just let it sit so let me go ahead and mix up some more fiberglass resin and then i'll check up on you once i get done i really wish that the wind the wind is like really like look it is windy out here so it's just going to knock over the camera and we're not going to be able to work um, so i'm just going to go ahead and do what i got to do and i'll show you how it looks after that okay so a cup and a half later we actually were able to lay down two layers of fiberglass mat on the top surface and we actually got like three layers going around the actual border we actually layered it up pretty good where the handle's at because we want it to be nice and solid uh, so it is cool and breezy and even we did put very very light mix like heavy mix man that thing still cured up and this thing's like almost you hear it? it's almost curing up so what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna actually slow it down a little bit more we're gonna not put as much so we can be able to play with it more and so maybe this one's gonna be cured a little bit stronger by the time we get done with this and we'll come back and we'll put another layer of resin just to strengthen her up a bit and then same thing once this one gets cured a little bit we're going to come back and put another layer of resin so it's like completely a thousand percent solid i really wish it wasn't as windy as it is today uh so we can get better footage but man i can't even keep my tripod up with that thing just falling over um and it's gonna take up time for me trying to get this done for you guys and look and even that sun's beaming too so we're gonna do the other door panel then i'm gonna show you how it looks after it's done the molds are drying man there's fiberglass mat everywhere look at it i always concentrate a lot on the edges because that's what i actually need uh to lay down flat 
a lot of the inner fiberglass mat is going to get cut out so there's clearance so the speaker can go um, inside there same thing with the horns so a lot of this is going to get cut out and i just really need the edges to be nice and tight and lay nice and flat the edges on the edges there's pretty much like four or five layers on it uh, as it's drying it's going to get darker you see it's already getting dark this is getting darker as well too uh, the last few cups I actually did of resin, I didn't put that much hardener in it just so I can have time to play with it and lay it down. So um, the top layer will probably be dry like in the next hour, but you still got to let it um, harden up through all those layers. You see what I'm saying? We could rip them up right now and you know that'd be good but that bottom layer could be really wet and that's what's going to tweak it and not let it dry to its form that we need you know what i'm saying the more you actually let them dry the more that it's going to sit and actually get that mold and not tweak at all you don't want these door panels to taco same thing when we actually lay the rings and fleece them we are going to fiberglass the doors on the actual door panel itself so it, you know it fiberglass to that shape you know what I'm saying so there's a lot of factors that you have to keep in mind whenever you're doing you know fiberglass door panels so they can maintain their shape all right so let's check these door panels out oh yeah solid 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 very nice very nice very nice so you just seen the molds are done man they are nice and solid uh, for tomorrow's video we're actually going to be taking the molds off uh, we're going to be taking off the tape off the door panels and then we are going to go ahead and be giving those things a bath in acetone to get um, any residue or anything on those guys um, usually if it does get stickiness it's from putting a little bit too much MEK on it, but we actually backed off on the MEK because it was still kind of breezy and windy, so that was making it react a little bit faster. But we mastered it down to a good um, measuring uh, measuring cup. We mastered it to a good uh, measurement, so uh, it we had enough time to play with it. You see what I'm saying? So on tomorrow's video, like I just said, we're going to take the door panel off, we're going to acetone wash it, and then we're going to be cutting it out and giving it a shape. And then probably at the same time, we will be looking at the truck that these view, that these door panels are going to go on, and we'll be cutting metal out because we need clearance for the tents when we start to lay the rings down. So definitely stay tuned, man, uh, for tomorrow's video. Um, way more action uh, today, like I said. Um, you, some of you guys, if you guys are uh, been tuning into the channel, man, we've already built so many door panels, or like probably like we've already built like four five sets of fiberglass door panels uh so you guys already know the process and if you are new to this channel i um, might just go back and watch the old videos of the other fiberglass door panels builds um it's all pretty much the same process um, i know they make other products that probably go a little bit faster in this snap but this is what we do on this channel you see what i'm saying and we're gonna stick and we're gonna stay in our lane so we get the best results all the time man but that's it for today hope you enjoyed today's video uh stay tuned for tomorrow's a lot more stuff to do uh, then we can actually get started on the other set of door panels. So, man, we got a lot of stuff going on, man. But we're back. We're grinding. And let's get it.